Hi there. My name is Gloria, and uh, I went out shopping yesterday in, in our area in P Pennsylvania. This is the time that we plant. I mean, we had cold weather up to now, and now is planting time. So I rushed out and bought some plants. And I was going to plant a lot of petunias, but I know, and any gardener knows, that you have to deadhead petunias. Um, they didn't have the way petunias, which you don't have to deadhead, but they did have these. And they're called million bells. And they look like very tiny petunias, but they bloom all summer long. And you don't have to deadhead them, which is great with me. And they, I bought the pink ones and the melon colored ones and these i bought these are called lobelia these are going to be put on in a sunny location on either side of our garage door in the planter i also bought something for shade because we have shade in front of our house and this is called the let's see a sedona color blaze lobelia and this is this is a this is a begonia. Guys, I can't pronounce the name, but I liked it. It has like cream colored flowers that you when they dry up, you pick them from the bottom and some more will grow. And they have silver and green leaves, which I like very much. And I'm gonna put those, this and this, in a shady location in the front of the house. And I don't know where I'm going to put those yet, or these, but I think the colors together will make a pretty large pot. Uh, these are the million bells that I just planted here. They don't look real great now, but I'm going to give them some uh, osmocote. And these are the verbena, the white verbena. And uh, in a few days, it'll be full bloom here. I have another planter that I have to put these in on the other side of the grow. And uh, my daughter picked out the colors, so she's going to like it a lot. This is this is the front of the house, as I said before. <clears throat> This is the begonia that I really, really love. It, it goes so well with the house color. It's, a, it's sort of a silver, the same color as the house in the middle and a darker green on the outside and it gets these pretty cream colored flowers which will eventually cover the plants. And my daughter really loved this one. So, I, what I think, I think last year I planted three of them and it got crowded in there after they grew. So this year, I'm planning on planting two in each one, and then I'll have these left over for some other shady spot around here. This one, this one will go here, and I'm using the same the same soil as from last year. I've done that every year. I've added osmocote, and it's worked out fine. So you don't have to replace, all, at least I don't, have to replace all the soil. And I, I bought three, but I think I'm only going to plant two. Last year they just got too big. So I think it's going to look really, really nice when it gets big. I've decided that and that is going to be right there because I like it there. I'll probably have to buy more of them though, I think, to even it out on that side and that side and i just want to show you what we just got done planting is um, this wall was newly built and there was nothing there and i didn't want to put cassandra there because i love vinca or mono whatever you call it so we planted it on this side and we planted it on that side and maybe someday we can plant a lot and just it could overtake the cassandra I'm looking for a place to put these two because they really need more shade than sun. And I think I think I'm gonna put this one right over here. Be 
beside the green pit. And this one right over here, you say. Either, either over here or by the stones, I don't know where. But this one will go over here or else down there. And it'll give some contrast to the green. But as I look at it, I think maybe I ought to get one more for each quarter. <laughs> there I go, buying more pumpkins. I want to show you, because I love them. This is called Rosa Ragusa. We first saw these when we were at the seashore, and they're supposed to grow anywhere. And they grow those great big yellow rose hips. I said uh, yellow or red, could be any yellow or red, on this in the fall. And they look so pretty. It's Rosa Ragusa. And those two bushes, they can be grown into trees if you want. And you have this tree with these big white leaves on the top like that. Or you can grow them into bushes, as we are. But uh, you have to cut them back just about every fall. And then in the spring, the new growth is that white color. And I, I just I just adore this combination right here. In the back are rhododendron and viburnum. It has beautiful white flowers on in the spring and they smell wonderful. There's a wonderful aroma to them. The hosts are trying to get through there. Some kind of trees. That's one thing about gardening I hate, and that's weeding. Because the weeds seem to grow better than the flowers sometimes. Most of the time. Hi again. I have bountiful weeds in my hand, and there's <coughs> plenty more where this came from. All over there. And you're welcome to come and help me weed if you want to. <laughs> we live in Pennsylvania and it's beautiful here, except that it's roasting hot. <laughs> this is my husband, Myla. And we're going to go in and get a nice big tall glass of ice water. And happy planting.